Hi, welcome to Vocabulary Wednesdays, and I am Chris with Magoosh. Today's theme is going to be holy words, which kind of makes sense given that today was Pope Benedict XVI's last day as Pope, last day in papal office. And so we have holy words. These words don't necessarily describe the Pope. However, this one, very welcome, to venerate. To venerate is to worship and respect deeply. Wow, you are so great. I worship you. So many people venerate the Pope. Obviously, this word has other uses besides just the church definition. And indeed, you're going to find many of our holy words come from a church or holy religious context, but can be applied to many other contexts. So for instance, musicians today venerate Beethoven as the greatest composer of all time. Beethoven again isn't necessarily the Pope, but it's someone that people worship. Next, we have an interesting word. I really like this word because on the surface, maybe if you've seen this word or heard it used before, it really doesn't seem like a holy word. But a niche is a small little hole in the wall, a carved out square hole in a church usually or a religious institution. And what's in there are little statues. And so they, they go in the niche. Now, the meaning of the word is very different. A niche is one special area of expertise where they really thrive. And you can say, or at least make the parallel between the little hole in the wall, that one little place, and one's ability, again, to flourish at someone. So my niche, some would say, is teaching vocabulary words, my little special area of expertise that, teach that I hope I flourish at. Next, we have a word that's not common at all, but I like it, acolyte. So again, a GRE word, but very unlikely to show up on the test. But what does it mean? Well, in the church, acolytes are usually young men who help in sacerdotal or priestly duties. And so you can see them sometimes carrying the little lanterns or censers during communion and helping whoever the priest or the pope is. Now, an acolyte, general context, is anyone who is a groupie. And, and what I mean by groupie is someone who kind of follows the big man. And so you could say that Steve Jobs had many acolytes, those kind of people who looked up to him and helped him out. And now, of course, those acolytes are trying to run Apple without Steve Jobs. Finally, proselytize. Kind of keeping the iPhone motif. Uh, must have been about five years ago. Many people were trying to proselytize me into using this new phone gadget called the iPhone. And I wasn't too sure, but they kept trying to convince me and convert me to their way of thinking. And that's exactly what proselytize means. Proselytize, the correct pronunciation, means to convert one, convert someone else. So many people had an iPhone. They said it was the greatest thing. They tried to proselytize me. Now, though, I have people around me who aren't necessarily iPhone fans and are trying to proselytize me to other phones, whether it's the Droid or the Samsung, etc. Again, this originally came from a religious connotation where people would say, oh, join my religion or my way of thinking about the afterlife. And in doing so, they're trying to proselytize them. And again, general context, anyone, anytime anyone's trying to convince you of their school of, th of thinking or their way of, of thought or something that they endorse, that person is proselytizing you. So hopefully, you'll see this video and go, wow, I love Vocab Wednesdays. I'm going to proselytize all of these other GRE people, or maybe even just people who love words or want to improve their vocab. I'm going to proselytize them and tell them how great GRE Vocab Wednesdays are. Just joking. Check us out, though, at gre.magoosh.com, and I'll see you next week.